Attention Power Automate users. Microsoft says the old HTTP trigger URL stops working after November 30th, 2025. Update your flow now. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will share an important update from Microsoft regarding changes to Power Automate flow triggers. You must take action before November 30th, 2025, or your flow will stop working. So if you have an HTTP trigger in your Power Automate flow, your flow will stop working if you don't update the trigger with a new URL. If you open your flow, which has an HTTP request trigger, you will see this warning message. The old trigger URL will stop working on November 30th, 2025. Your tools that use this flow will break unless you update them with a new URL. And here is the Microsoft documentation about this update. Changes to HTTP or Teams webhook trigger flows. Let's read this out. Starting in August 2025, Power Automate flows with HTTP triggers or Teams webhook triggers that have logic.azure.com in the URL will move to a new URL. This change is part of an infrastructure upgrade to improve execution speed and provide new features. You'll see the new URL in the HTTP URL field of the flow's trigger when you load the flow in the designer. To ensure that existing flows using these triggers continue to work, complete the following actions by November 30th, 2025. Before November 30th, 2025, both the old and new URLs will be supported. After that, the old URLs will no longer work and flows will fail to trigger. So before November 30th, 2025, you must change your HTTP trigger flow URL to the new one. If you have HTTP or Teams webhook trigger flows in your tenant. So how to change this URL? It is damn easy. I'll show you how to do that. You don't need to do anything. It is very simple. To update that what you need to do is, you just go to your HTTP trigger flow. This is my HTTP request trigger flow. Just open your flow in edit mode in the flow designer. Your HTTP trigger URL will be updated with a new URL. Earlier in the URL, we had logic.azure.com. But in the new URL and the HTTP request trigger, we don't have logic.azure.com. You can see the new URL and the HTTP request trigger got updated automatically. This is completely different. And here's a message also. Click here to copy the new URL. Well, you can copy the new URL and see the difference between the old and new URL. Here you can read the warning message. This is the old URL and will stop working on November 30th, 2025. Your tools that use this flow will break unless you update them with a new URL. To update your HTTP trigger URL, you don't need to do anything. Just open your HTTP trigger flow in the designer with edit mode. Your trigger will be updated with the new URL automatically. Then save your flow. I'm just saving it. That's it. Your flow will continue to work as it has been working. Regarding this update, if you're a flow owner, you'll be notified in the email communication as well. You will get these types of emails. Your flow has a new trigger URL. The flow HTTP request file create uses the request trigger and its URL was recently changed. Any tools that reference the old URL will break starting November 30th, 2025, where HTTP request file create is my flow name. Here you will have your flow name. You can go to your flow from this go to my flow link as well. As I have already updated my trigger URL with a new URL, I can see the new URL here. That's it for today's demo. I hope you found it useful. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay. Updated with the latest tips and tricks on Power Automate, Power Platform, and Copilot and Share this with others so they don't miss this important flow trigger URL update for Microsoft, which will stop working after November 30th, 2025.